guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes three and four of Blue Reflection, uh, Reflection Ray. Mm hmm, mm hmm, there we go. This is gonna, <laughs> this is gonna get started on episode three in three, two, one. Three, two, one, go. I am tired. BTW, it does not look like it. It is only 9.08 at night. On my day off, I did the, the, the smartest but stupidest thing to do. I literally played a game <laughs> for the whole day. And it was only because for Japan, because they're a day ahead of us, they were celebrating something for New Year's and we get free outfits for the idols and I was like I'm doing that oh no not the photo <laughs> oh and she worked so hard on that too No, okay. Is Ruka going to transform today or is it just going to be Hiyori or is Momo going to come in and like save the day? about it go hide you're not ready for this yet it's like girl get out Let's just hope, because I, I would like Ruka to kick some behind today. I mean, seriously, once again, it's 9 o'clock at night. I'm a little sleepy. Heck, I gotta do, today I gotta do this and, um, Banner 2. I'm gonna try to edit both before I can go to bed, even though I got to bed really, really late, but I gotta be up early-ish, um, because I got work tomorrow. And then when I come home tomorrow, um... I gotta record both Bakuman and the irregular special so that I can get all this stuff out on Saturday because I was so busy this week, even today with the dang game that I was playing trying to get the idols and their outfits and such, um, that literally on the last day of the year of 2021, I gotta make videos and it's gonna be hard because I gotta do it right when I get home. And I gotta hurry up and get it done before 12. Because if I don't get it done by 12, it's gonna be even harder for me to record. Literally, like, some. It's gonna take me. Two hours. Yeah, like two hours and 30. Yeah, I could get it done in two hours and 30 minutes. Okay. We good. We good. We just gotta do it. Mm hmm. Don't bullshit, DJ. Okay. Now, hold up. Now, is that Yori's sister? I don't want no spoilers in this, but you know, don't even answer that, okay? If you want to answer that, go, you know, go into the comments, go all the way down up until read more, and then put that answer down. Do you feel claustrophobic? Or just Miyako's feelings? Mm -hmm. Oh. Is that supposed to happen? I 
I gotta agree with him, right? Because, you know, Roka! Roka! <laughs> Not them two right there. Because she's looking for her sister. That too, but you know, looking for her sister. See, it makes me kind of wonder. Okay, going back to like the first episode and the situation with Momo and that girl. If this girl, said girl who's friends with Momo, if she is evil and if she is working with them, maybe that girl and these two found the truth, once again, as I said this last week, of what in the world they're supposed to do, their quote-unquote destiny, and they're trying to find a way to avoid it, which is an evil way, but Hiori, Ruka, hell, oh, oh. Maybe even Momo herself, they don't know. woman I mean, she technically main character, so you know she's got to do what she's got to do. She did, didn't she? Come on now. I really? We're really doing? Oh my God. Oh. <sighs> I mean, it should, I, I shouldn't really even be surprised. It's kind of really expected for certain magical girl shows that, you know, end up someone like you barely know them and then they die and then it's like, oh my God. This, hell, this might even be like, oh my god, what the hell was that show? Um, the something something pri priority. I reacted to it. I just can't remember the name. Wonder I priority? I'll look at her after. Well, of course, her 
motive is different from y'all's. Come on now. Look, her outfit is a lot darker than yours. Yours is pure light. Hers is pure darkness. So shouldn't that really kind of say, hmm, maybe she's someone for the other team. Just saying. Maybe we should communicate with her. We should just kill her, then move on. Make it make sense. Well, of course not, but the way she... See, we get so close to knowing this girl's name, but oh! More like her soul, really, but you know... By not having feelings? That's not right, though. She would just be empty. See, now we'd be getting like that one horror movie with Kristen Bell <laughs> that I love so much. <laughs> See, once again, Ruka, honey, you, you're you're not ready for this. I, I love the fact that she, you know, she literally went into the danger and such, but she could have just died right there and there. Oh. Because you didn't do anything for that girl. Yeah. Yeah. She she's hella similar to that one girl with the because in this show it's very one uh, like straight up for only three episodes and this isn't right now. So it's a it's not the girl named Rika. Because Rika was the one who was like, so I'm quite kawaii and ish and such. I'm trying to remember what the main character's girl's name. What her the fuck was her name? This is what happens when, you know, you watch so many freaking animes and you're like, once again, what is the name of that show? Oh my god. And then by the time you remember, you're like, oh! <laughs> I thought her hair would change, though. But, I mean, yeah, she typically reminds me of every, like, blue cure in the Pretty Cure series. But I just wish her hair changed. It's it's pretty, don't get me wrong, but just the hair change. It should have been, like, an icy, um, maybe even, like, a pale blue. Well, damn. So, hold on. Then that's that's other girl's feelings. I'm, oh, okay. Because, like, for a moment, I was like, that she's done this before. But, no. It's just other girl's feelings as well. Hmm. 
Yeah, but it seems like, you know, Ruka might end up kicking your ass. Oh! She grab her feelings back or oh 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 So then something now kind of really tells me since it seems like Miyoko was the first official one who is a success and they were able to save her. She's kind of going to be a little more useful after this. I don't know. Well, that was a nice way to disappear. This also gives me a lot of Grand Bellum feels, except it's not Magical Girls plus Mecca. It's just Magical Girls. It's gotta be her. Kissy. Kissy. Momo probably don't even remember that situation. Come on now. A plus B. <laughs> A, A, B, C. One, two, three, baby. You and me. Come on now. That is so freaking obvious if it's that. Two plus two is four. Three plus three is six. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> no. I cannot. <laughs> you know kind of made a new friend <laughs> no 
You still want her to write that 500 page thing though? See, that just makes me hungry. <laughs> Almost 9.30. The last thing I ate was dumpling several hours ago as like a late lunch. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'm probably not going to be able to eat till like... 11, 12. Oh, of course. Oh, hey, Odie. Oh, Baruka. <laughs> they have it a moment. <laughs> Mm -hmm. See? Something that she don't remember. A.K.A. that girl who touched her and like, oh, boom. There's your memories. Mm-hmm. It's funny how they wait until episode three to release this. I mean, okay. I understand on why doing that it makes sense but at the same time maybe just maybe we could have just waited until we got to like episode 12 um for that big secret and such now it makes you wonder what is going to be like the big big secret that possibly comes around when episode 12 does come for me so by week six of this show that's when we'll know. I mean, this episode was very interesting. Like I said, I feel like Miyako is going to be a really interesting secondary character of the group. I don't think she's going to get that opportunity to become a magical girl. Unlike Hiyori and, and Ruka and Momo. But if she does, honestly, I'd be happy. Because she seems like a very interesting character. But I feel like there's going to be times where she's going to be targeted again. For some weird reason. I feel also like the friendship of Hiyori and Ruka is going to teach Ruka to be a better person and to, you know, stand their ground or when someone is feeling a certain type of way. No, almost very similar to, I think it was called Wonder Eye Priority. You know what? Let me, where's my phone? I'm going to look it up right now because if that's it. <laughs> Wonder I how do I know it? Wait, wait. Wonder egg priority. I was close. <laughs> okay, so in Wonder Egg Priority, there was a main the main character with the two different I that's your name. Um I had a friend who eventually I was getting bullied first, then her friend came in and stuck up for her. Then her friend got bullied and because I didn't say anything to anyone about it, eventually I's friend, S word, don't like to talk about that word, but S word. And so it seems like ha that is a little very similar to this. Something happened to this girl that Ruka was looking at every single day and then one ha what, one, what happened? What the hell am I saying? One day, um... Ruka comes to school and there's all these other girls talking about, oh, did you hear about such and such and everything? And then that's when Ruka finds out 
that something tragic happened to that girl and her biggest regret was not getting to know that girl and to not and to prevent her from doing what she did and so of course it's going to be like that for anyone where you feel bad about that because of course anyone's going to feel bad about that but you're going to feel even worse because of it and not having the opportunity to do the right thing and to go to someone when they need help but sometimes even when you do it's not really the best so i think hiori is going to teach ruka to be a better friend and to always stay on your ground and to when someone is feeling down to take a stand go ask them and see if they're okay this is that and the third maybe i'm not 100 percent sure on that ish but yeah very very similar to wonder egg even though we only three episodes in same thing with the grand bellum feels but except you know no, no mechas in this. Just, you know, magical girls beating up other magical girls. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode four. Okay, episode four in three, two, one, go. <laughs> So now is Momo gonna Oh okay, never mind. She just straight up Oh That doesn't give any answers, Momo. Possibly yes. Seem like it. But it felt so real though. Almost like a premonition in a way. Something also tells me because, okay, so week one when I watched this, after I finished, I, I, like I said, I didn't look up anything for this, but when I was like, you know, updating, oh, hey, watching this and watching that on, you know, any list and it's going on my Twitter, I was looking at the percentage of this and this has like 50%. So people felt, ha like, so I'm guessing majority of the fandom 50% of people enjoyed it and maybe 50% didn't or just maybe people in the anime community just felt like this with it because maybe like what the first half of the show was really good and then the second half wasn't the best. It could have did a darling situation because we all remember how darling went and the first like what 12 to 13 episodes of darling really freaking good. The last few episodes of darling not the greatest and it took it like you know when a show sometimes overstays its welcome that was the second half of darling um and i'm hoping that this does not do that because it, it's really interesting and the premise is different but similar at the same time to other magical girl shows that i've seen <laughs> yeah. Where are you going to live? Well, apparently, 
Jesus. Oh, okay, like, yeah, the situation with the world ends with you. Okay, okay. Yeah, Momo, you're gonna have to tell her about her sister. <laughs> Watch, we're gonna wait until episode 12. <laughs> oh, if she wait until episode 12 to tell Hiori, that's probably gonna hurt her feelings. But how do you tell someone who you barely even know that your sister? Oh, damn. Okay, hold up. I think I know why she's doing it. All right. So she's sick, right? It's explained with the, you know, the diamond looking scales on her arm and, and such. So she's going out and going to get the souls, the flower looking soul things for her specifically. See, Sailor Moon-ish, kind of, a little bit. Like, what if she's mind-controlled in this and she just, you know, her memory is wiped? There's so many unanswered questions with it. Maybe you shouldn't say that out loud. <laughs> no, you have to be in sync with each other. I mean, you did it once, you're able to do it again. Yeah, what do you two even know about each other? Wait, hold up. Their personality. <laughs> okay. Hiyori is Hana. <laughs> and Ruka. <laughs> is Miko. From Miriko-chan. <laughs> Straight. 
straight up because see, like, okay, you see how hoodie. <laughs> eating so much she's eating so little hannah ate a lot <laughs> it's cute though Oh, that's smart. Yeah, might as well save water. I think that's going to be me tomorrow when I come home from work at 6. Or I'm like, all right, before I record... And take me a shower and then you know put on either regular clothes or just PJs <laughs> and getting to know each other Yeah, you guys are polar opposites. <laughs> Still don't know how to tell her, huh? But once again, like, Momo's going to have to. I mean, it is gonna upset her. Of course she is.
lot has happened. I just think the only time that these two will really personally work together is once they're in battle. I mean, yes, their minds and their personalities aren't really syncing up with each other. They're polar opposites. And yes, polar opposites do work. But really, as of right now, it's not working for these two. Mm. Oh, damn, Mama. And they all left you one by one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if y'all don't hurry, like, mm -hmm, that flower... Well, you would think Miyako would be there, but, like, I'm guessing, well, yeah, because of the fact that she doesn't have a ring, so she's automatically going to be, like, frozen right in her. That makes sense, but still at the same time, like, because she is working with them, I thought she would be okay to move, but no. Momo? Ma'am! <laughs>
-hmm. as long as you work together and get that ish done that's it Oh, okay, hold up. That should have just straight up killed her. Yeah, but Momo, Momo, elephant in the room. Elephant in the room! Oh, she looks like her sister right there. Okay, so does that mean Miyako and Momo are going to be roommates? Because I mean, that would make the most sense. I'm just saying now that, you know, Momo is coming back to school... And stuff, because after this, like, having this episode immediately focus on her and such, you kind of knew that by the time when she was getting into her little flashback moment with her family and everything, and how she says that she ruins everything, but it seems like she wants to try with these group of girls and to not take it for granted, quote, per se, you know, maybe. But, of course, because of the fact that she's keeping that secret from Hiyori about her sister, it's going to come up. And when it does, I think that's really going to break the dynamic or this little family that we've already known for several episodes. Even though it's only four episodes and such. But they are a family right now. And when that does come... You know, take a little heart and we're just going to rip it apart and we're going to stomp on it and everything. We're going to probably take a hammer, hammer that ish, burn it, do a lot of things to that heart. Because after that, how are you going to be able to look at that same person again because of what happened? Still really want, like, an ish, a little backstory on, you know, Hiyori's sister. We, we better get that, please. I want that by episode five and six next week. Thank you very much. If we don't get that next week, I'm okay with that. But we need to get that at least before the first half of this show is over. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Is that Princess Yuki? You know what? We'll, we'll just find out next week on that, okay? I got nothing more, nothing less to say about this. I mean, this episode was very good just as much as episode three as well. Um, I wonder how if Miyako and Momo are roommates how it's gonna go with those two because of course yes polar opposites with you know Hiyori and Ruka over here you know you think it's gonna work in the one minute it doesn't but it's it's like a balancing act with these two and such their relationship that they have with each other as friends versus teammates is very different it's kind of like mm, how can I compare this almost like okay when you are working oh best way to compare this to okay 
So you have your co-workers who are who you're friends with and then your friend friends that you've known for like the longest time. The way you are around your friend friends that you've known the longest time versus your co-workers is very different. So this balancing act, this is you in the middle and you're teeter-totting between how you're supposed to act at work and how you're supposed to act when you're around your friends. But then it could kind of get a little worse when you're... Um, you eventually want your co-workers to start hanging out with you and your friends. And so how are you supposed to act like that or around those times if you kind of understand and such? Because um, I've learned from, like, my cousin who works somewhere, plus from my aunt of my cousin, to sometimes, in a way, you shouldn't really be friends with your co-workers. I think you should. Um, because it's nice. You have to have friends, you know, no matter what job that you're going to do. You don't want to be mean to someone all the time. You want to be nice and stuff. Yes, sometimes you're not going to see eye to eye because, you know, people have different ways of thinking. But, yeah, be friends with your coworkers and such. It's really nice. And you never know who in the world, you know, you're going to meet and you're going to relate to and, you know, certain things that you're going to like at the end of the day. But yeah, like I said, I really enjoyed these two episodes a lot. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes... Where's my phone? Right there. Episodes 3 and 4 of Blue Reflection Ray. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see everybody... No, Patreons next Saturday and everybody else on the... Okay, so episodes one and two will come out on the third, uh, on the seventeenth <laughs> for episodes five and six. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.